Welcome back! We've just read some new entries in uh, Sharper's Journal, and it tells us a couple of things, actually. Uh, for one thing, um, Sharper is as surprised as we were to see that his uh, other journal uh, was missing. Well, there's this very simple in-game reason uh, for that. Because all the things that were in the other journal had to do with the two Dunny expansion pack in Complete Chronicles. It explained how to get into the egg room in Corel with the, the Bob Ogubu uh, or Ogubo whatever puzzle. And it explained Zandi's coordinates and everything like that. And all of those things aren't possible in uh, the online version. They, are, they aren't here. There's no reason to go to, um, to Zandi's coordinates. And there's no way to open the egg room in Corel. And nor do you need to, because in the original Tudani you couldn't get into Agura, or most of Agura anyway, until you've managed to open the egg room in Corel. And now you can already get everywhere. So there's no reason no reason you would need to do that. So that's why they probably removed that notebook, just so you wouldn't get confused with hints that have no bearing on the actual game right now. The other entries they have to do with the game tab revival of Uru Live, because you know as you know Uru Live was originally cancelled, and then they released the two Dunny expansion pack to uh, explain what happened to the DRC after the, the cancellation. But it seems that in 2007, when the GameTap version of Uru Live came around, they said, well, okay, this means the DRC is coming back to Dunny. And this, uh, these entries in, uh, in Sharper's Journal, they play into that. And they refer to some of the new content they had back then, which is still in here now, and we'll, we'll get to it at some point. Uh, the pot ages in particular, he mentioned Negalon, and there's a, a couple of others as well. And we'll see those at some point. Uh, it won't be for a while, but we will get there. And um, uh, he also mentioned several names and some events. Uh, he mentioned something about a war, which I think has to do with the Barrow Wars, which was one of the storylines uh, in Our Life at some point. Um, so all of these things just have to do with the stories they were playing out during the game tap years. Um, right now, unfortunately, there are no such stories because this game is free. Cyan doesn't really have any resources to get their people on here and interact with the with the the explorers and create these storylines that like they used to do. They don't really do that anymore, which is a shame, but because it does mean that there's not really any reason to hang around um, after you finish all the content, because there won't be any new content. But uh, what can you do, hey? I think when you when you played this age, when you first played it, there was a notebook on the table, and it just was a blank notebook, wasn't it? Yeah, when when the Ur Life originally uh, was revived this time around, the free version, the this notebook was actually blank. They didn't put up the text. So they added that uh, back later. I don't know why so they did that. Maybe it was something they forgot. Maybe it's uh, I don't know. There's this note, of course, uh, which uh, mentions Nolaben and probably also mentioned Escher. Because he's saying uh, that they, uh, that Marie me met someone on Nolaben, so probably that was Escher. Okay, well, there's a, a Barrow Stone here. And there's actually uh, um, a nice thing we can do here. Um, this Nora, I, w I want you to you go through the Barrow Stone, which means I have to share it with you. Don't go through there yourself, please. Oh, yes, okay. Um, because again, like with linking books, the Barrow Stones all that don't lead to city locations, but lead to uh, ages, they lead to your own private age. So if Nora uses this stone, she gets to her own age, not mine. But like the books, they have a share icon here. It's not marked as clearly as in the books, but it still has the same purpose. So I can share it with her. Let me get out of the way. Um. So I'm banished to the mushroom. <laughs> yes. But now, unlike uh, last time, I'm not going to go through. I'm going to go uh, back to uh, the age myself using the regular book. I'm going to take the uh, elevator down.
Because what you can do here is look at each other from long distances, which is <laughs> fun sometimes. Sometimes we, when we were playing the game originally, we occasionally did it by accident. We'd end up, especially going back to the to the neighborhood, there was one notable occasion where you ended up on a very high balcony. Yeah, while Nora ended up uh, <laughs> down by down below. So yeah, I mean, it's a nice thing to do, especially if you're in a in a busy neighborhood, to just link to that uh, high up balcony in in Bevin and watch people uh, run around, watch them play uh, the Heek game or something. And I actually, I th I find this, I think I find this more amazing than you do. The fact that where I'm standing now, I'm going to see when you run out onto the. There you are. I can see you. I yeah. find that amazing. Yeah, obviously, I'm. Um, I mean, I am a computer scientist, so I know how yeah. all this stuff works, and I know there's no technological reason why you shouldn't <laughs> be able to see each other in this particular case. So, what would have been impressive is, I is if the. Uh, Linking panels in the books were alive, and you would be able to see each other from there. <laughs> but that's not the case. That would have been impressive if they'd done that. But it isn't. So now I'm going to wave to you. Oh yeah, there she is. I think that all of these Barrow Stone locations are places that the Barrow used to observe the ages. Although I'm not entirely sure of that. Yes, that makes the most sense to me. And the other thing that I, s I see when I'm up here is those, um, th they're like sails at the bottom of the um, uh, mushrooms where they coll collect the um, spores, which they made into bread. Yeah, yeah, uh, you can see them, these, uh, these pieces of cloth at the base of the mushroom. Probably they use those to uh, catch, uh, to collect the spores and then they would put them into these buckets to bring them upstairs to the processing facility. Yes, this okay, well now I we have a problem, of course, because uh, Nora is over there, and I'm over here. And Nora And there's no way out. Yeah, the only <laughs> way... It's just the top of a mushroom. Yeah, the only way off that platform is uh, is using your Relto book. And, of course, she cannot uh, cannot get back to, uh, to my uh, Teledon without my help, so... You'd think that we have to go back to the neighborhood, meet up, get her to my Relto, and share the Relto, uh, the Teleton book again. That's not actually necessary. What we can do is use the key and the Nexus. Oh, you can see now I opened the key that uh, the times that Nora waved hello show up in the chat. <laughs> um, what, well in order to share an age via the key, what you need to do is um, click the middle icon, the people icon, then from um, either the age players list or the buddies list or whatever's more convenient, you select the person you want to share it with, in this case Nora, LP. Then click the arrow next to the age. That adds the uh, the person to that age's visitors list. Um, Nora, could you do that in reverse, uh, what I just said, sent, uh, sent me an invite to your Teladon just so I can yes. show what that looks okay. like. Okay. I highlight you. Um, oh, I've just I see that I've got one. So Teladon. Oh, my Teladon. Um, Select the middle icon. Then yep. uh, pick me on the right from the age player players yep. of the buddies list, and then the arrow. Nora Selby. Okay. You should get it. Did yours flash up? Not yet. Yeah. There we go. I could tell there was a little bit of lag in <laughs> the message arriving. The, um, so you can see the key flashes down here to show that you've got an incoming message. It always does that. And now when we go to um, incoming, it says here, Invitation to visit. Please come visit Nora LP's Teledon Age by going to the MT Nexus uh, station and using your private link. So uh, Nora can, uh, can now go to the Nexus and link into Teledon without my help. And I can see you looking at your key from here. I can see your... Okay, Nora, um, can you go um, back to the, uh, to the beginning of the Lodan? Yep, we'll do that. And it's, aren't we out of time? Almost. So if you can just uh, <laughs> link out, then we can... Uh, okay. End the video. I'm just going to run uh, watch you link out. 
there she goes. Sir. And then I'm going to run over to the beginning before we end this video. Because now Nora can just go to uh, the Nexus and my Teledon will show up there so she can uh, go there. And conversely, because she also sent me a link to her Teledon, now I can go there as well. Even when Nora's not online, I can still go and muck around with uh, her Teledon. <laughs> not sure what you could do there, but you're more than welcome. I could solve all the puzzles for you. <laughs> Okay, and now we're really out of time, so we'll continue in the next video.